What are you best at? Maybe you're a great basketball player. Maybe you can draw really well. Or maybe you're a great friend to others. Whatever it is you excel at, it feels good when you do it. As a matter of fact, the more you do what you excel at, the more your confidence builds. When you feel better, you do better. This goes for test taking as well. Hi, my name is Mr. Brophy, and I'm here to tell you about the third strategy for test taking. It's called solving easy problems first. Solving easy problems first will help you to feel great at the start of a test. When you get the first few problems right, you start to feel more relaxed about the test in general. When you are relaxed, you're able to think more clearly. When you think more clearly, your brain works better, and you'll get more problems right. It's a great thing. That's why great test takers answer all the easy problems first. It helps them to build their confidence, which helps them tackle the more difficult problems later. Let's take a look how we might do this. Take a look at these three problems. Which one is the easiest for you? Probably three plus four. That's the one you should solve first. By getting one right, you'll feel more confident, and this will help you on the harder problems. Now it's your turn. I'm going to show you several problems, and I want you to think about what order you would solve them in. Did you think about what problems you'd solve first? If you did, then you successfully practiced the strategy of solving easy problems first. Remember to continue to practice this strategy during all your tests. Your grades will thank you.